we're on and okay. off because there's a problem with my connection to Twitch, I guess. Huh. It's all working out great right now. Now yeah. we're no longer dropping any frames. As of me saying that, it's zero. It's perfect now. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, the Bay Area got hit with a weird EMT. Yep. That's likely what happened. Okay, so we're back. We did it. So we are live. We are live, yeah. We have confirmation from the chat that we are live. All right. Sorry for the weird delay, people. I had some power surge. But yeah. We seem to be okay. Still alive. We're still alive, somehow. Hooray. Yeah, we did it. Sean, how was your week? Yeah, so I was just about <laughs> to tell you about the week I had. Yeah, as, as it continues to be great, apparently. Um, so I come home Sunday evening from, you know, whatever I was doing on Sunday. Sure. And the the apartment is just there are too many flies in the apartment Gross. for it to be natural. Oh, OK. So there wasn't like an actual swarm. There's just like a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. On, and they were specific. So you're thinking like, oh, maybe the garbage wasn't taken out. Maybe yeah, there was yeah. food left out. Th no, that wasn't the case. The garbage wasn't that full. It wasn't smelly. There was okay. we don't leave food out. My apartment's real clean, so it's not an issue of like I live filthy or anything. That's not the case. Sure. <clears throat> and they're only hanging out on these two specific windows. Okay. They're just staying on the window. Okay. Um, yeah. So there and there must have been like like at least twenty of them in total. Gross. That's fucking <clears throat> disgusting. Yeah, and then and so like I said, because it kind of happened like all of a sudden, that's not natural, so that's not good. So I kill like a good chunk of them. Yeah, as you should. And um, then the next day, I get a text from my roommate, and she's like, "Hey, the flies are back." And I come home, and there's like twenty of them again, still on these two windows. Weird. Yeah. Huh. So I was like asking like my mom, like, "Do you have any ideas why this like what happened?" And she yeah. thinks maybe like because she was able to guess they were on the windows before I even said where they were. And she th thinks maybe they like laid eggs in the windowsill or something. That's disgusting. Yeah, that probably <clears throat> oh, is yeah. the thing, though. And I and I, I called some exterminators and I guess and like no one does flies. OK, I guess it's just not it's not a thing exterminators deal with. Well, I mean, because usually you put in like a fly trap or like fly tape and that usually does it. Yeah. I guess I just didn't I didn't want to have to do anything. I wanted the experts to. That's fair. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and one lady was like, you know, they're probably they're Like, are they just kind of sitting around? They're not like buzzing around a ton. And I was and I, and they were they were just kind of like sitting on the glass. Um, unless, you know, I kind of got near them, then they would fly a little bit. But for the most part, they were just kind of standing around. Sure. She's like, it's probably because they were like just born and they're like young and they just kind of hang out. Um. So just grow, start to finish. Yep. Anyway, so I spent one day spraying raid all over my windows. Um, but like I just came home a few like an hour ago. Yeah. I'm like four flies. You should set that window on fire. I think it's multiple windows, and these are important windows. <laughs> <laughs> are they so open the often, or do you leave them closed? Uh, one of them is like always open, but it has like a okay. screen. Yeah. 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 Uh, and the other one is open sometimes. I don't think it's been open for like a day. Yeah. I don't know. Weird. But it's not like they're coming in from the outside. Yeah. Like it. It's like they're I trying to get out from being born in your house, I guess. Kind, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. And I, like I said, I sprayed the whole thing with raids. So like, I don't know where these eggs are. Ugh. Gross. Anyway, so that's been my week. Yep. How's your guys' week been? Yeah. Okay, yeah. uneventful. We went around today looking at places for the wedding. That was about oh, it. Okay, all right. Did you pick one? Uh, we found some potential places, but we don't know if it's going to be the place yet. That's what we're is still it, working is on. Is it Canmore or Banff? Uh, it might. We're actually looking to see what places in Calgary we can do because we mm. have a situation where Reese's mom uh would require a wheelchair so we have to pick and choose where we go carefully sure okay. yeah i just know a lot of people go to like the mountains because no like that was that was idea one but we're also trying to like save a bit of money because 
those yeah. are going to be crazy expensive. So sure, but it's the bride's father's job, right? Isn't that the thing? She doesn't have one anymore. Oh shit! So bad form. No, wow. Apologies no. all around. That's not something you could possibly like know. Yeah, though. foot in my mouth, <laughs> securely in my mouth. <laughs> Great. Um. Okay. Well, welcome to the top-down perspective. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> On that cheery o- note, October sixth, spooky Halloween time. Yeah, Halloween Yay, month. Spooky. Yeah. Yep. Halloween month. Do you guys have your costumes picked out? Probably. Probably not even bothering. Oh. No. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably I, come up with I, I only ever needed them for like Halloween parties, and mm-hmm. not really going to any this year. So. All right. I'll probably end up at one. I need to think of a costume. Yeah. yeah, nothing. Nothing at the moment. Um, OK, before we get into what we've been playing. Oh, by the way, Sean's here. Paul's here. John's here. We're all Hi. here. Yep. Um, uh, Paul, you Hi. started and finished the Nintendo Switch watch. Hunt. Wait. <laughs> In <the> last week. <laughs> OK, sure. S- <laughs> Switch hunt watch. <laughs> it was pretty hard. You went to a store and found one right away, right? Well, here's the thing, right? Is that like the store, the Best Buy by my house has actually had stock for like probably the last month. Like they just, they have actually like about as much, many of them as uh, Xbox Ones and PlayStation 4s at this point. You can just see them stacked up. So yesterday I was thinking to myself, I should probably go pick one up because I'm a little afraid that when like Odyssey comes out, there's going to be another like small rush of people actually buying this thing. And I don't want to be left out. That's probably true. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, you know what, I'll just buy one now. No big deal. So I did. And it's sitting right beside me. It's my P-Cross machine right now. Okay. Because that's right. there's nothing... Oh, that's not true, actually. I just installed Monster Hunter uh, Double Cross in it, on it. And I am slowly going through the menus because they're in Japanese. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. And that's been really fun so far because that game is fine. Okay. Are those the only games you got for it? That's it. Okay. Yep. And did um, I was actually considering not even unpacking it, just leaving it in the closet till Mario came out, because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to play. Then I remembered, oh, P Cross is out, and I got excited. You know what you should have done? You should have yeah. set the clock to I did. July. I did. Oh, did, did you it, do it? Yeah. Didn't work. What? Either really? that or I did, did it wrong. It? Did you connect to the internet first? I didn't. No, I set the clock mm. in the like when you turn it on, it just says like, "Do you want this English?" Blah blah. What country you're in? That's where I set it, and I couldn't get it to work. So you did weird. the yep that motion weird. Yeah. So and then I was just like, "Fuck it," and then turned on the internet. But yeah. So either so weird. It doesn't work yet, or I did it wrong, which is possible. Yeah, because I think I, I think like several people were doing it, so sure. I don't, but I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, so that's a thing now. And you got gonna... the gray one I saw. I did. Yeah. Yeah. What made you choose that over the neon? Because I hate the neon colors. Okay, that's that's fair. All right. Specifically, that red. I think the like blue is fine. I don't like that red. It's not a great red, that's true. It's a weird red. That's why we're trying to figure out if the Galaxy Bundle has a different red. That Odyssey Mario... Bundle. Yeah, that Mario red or whatever, from the looks of it, if it's different, looks like the type of red I would want anyway. And you didn't think just to, like, like pre-order the Odyssey one? No, nah, I already dropped enough money for today, so maybe in, like, a couple weeks, next paycheck, if there's, like, some extra money, maybe I'll... Oh, no, I meant, like, um... Oh, like, the Odyssey for the, the Switch ahead of time yeah i was thinking about it but no you just wanted the switch i just want it set up so that when odyssey comes out i can just pop it in and play cool yep we'll have to exchange friend codes i mean i already tried to add you because i had you on me tomo or whatever oh okay on phone so all right there's probably a friend request i haven't turned it on so good um you should get rabbits yeah, I kind of want that XCOM DLC more, though, that expansion, because that seems more like what I want, using the Nemesis system and upgrading that game and stuff, so. I think I think apart from Breath of the Wild, Rabbids might be, like, the best game on the Switch. 
that's not saying a whole lot because I was actually looking. I was like, hmm, what games could I buy? And there is like maybe six that I could buy. And one, <laughs> I saw one two switch there, and I just like shuddered a little bit. <laughs> yeah, don't don't get one two switch. It's, it's like sixty five it. bucks or something Canadian. I was wow. like, that's ridiculous. That is that. It, that's absurd. Yeah, I think like, like I might get snipper clips to like play with the girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, that snipper seems clips okay. is good. Yeah, you might want to wait for the snipper clips plus or whatever that's coming. Oh, do you know when that is? That's real soon, like in oh. a week or two. Oh, yeah, I'll just do that then. Totally. Yeah, it's like a bunch of new levels and whatnot. I think it's like ten bucks more than the normal game. I think snipper kit snipper clips plus comes out okay no don't send me to nintendo.ca november 10th it's a month okay i mean i can wait for it it's not that big a deal you can get a physical copy of it if you want or you can just honestly you can just also buy the normal digital version and i think you get the plus dlc for free oh uh no i don't think it's free i think you have to pay for it i think it's like 10 bucks or something so yeah you're calling that one then yeah I think like that golf story is on my radar a little yeah. bit. Like I might pick golf that story. one. Uh, I'll probably buy that Resident Evil Revelations pack that comes out. That comes out kind of soonish as well. So I'll pr- just have that to play as well at some point. Yeah, there. I'm kind of looking for excuses to like find like to play that thing, but I have most Rabbit. of that stuff. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> okay. Game's super fun. Probably not. Too bad there's not like a demo. Yeah, I mean, more than anything, I just want to kind of get a few like smaller indie type stuff. Like, I kind of wish I had gotten SteamWorld Dig on that. I guess I still could, but I kind of burnt out on it, so I'm not going right, to be doing that. Right. Yeah, that's it's fun to play that on the Switch for sure. Maybe Shovel Knight or like Sonic Mania. I was considering getting Sonic Mania again for it. We'll see. It's a good system to have, like, having all these games portable is yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So. so, that's the thing. I'm just happy that I oh, what about, future-proofed um, myself no, for no Mario. Splatoon 2 for you? No, I don't like Splatoon stuff, so. Okay. That's fine. I, I, I dropped off that pretty fast. Did you? That's kind of yeah. too bad. Arms? You could get arms. I don't actually know, like, anything about arms. It's a um, fighting game ish. Well, like, punch like I've seen the videos and stuff, but I not enough. It doesn't intrigue me enough to drop money on it. That's I know that's fair. Yeah. Uh, Flat Math saying cart eight deluxe. That's like probably up there for something to play. Like basically just a game Did that like Mario Kart 8? when my brother comes over, like here here's something you can play. Yeah. I have Mario Kart 8, but the problem is, is I basically don't have a Wii U because my stupid cat chewed through the cord for, okay. <laughs> for it. So. I mean, if then, you already played Mario Kart there. 8, don't play <laughs> Deluxe. It's the yeah. same game. Yeah, but that's a fun game. And I can't play it now, so <laughs> there's that. Okay, well, yeah. Um, that's a new console. That's exciting. Sure. Uh, but why don't we talk about what John's been playing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I started playing Puzzle Fighter on mobile. Yeah, me too, actually. I forgot to write that down. Is that out down here yet? I don't know. So what do you uh, think of I'm, it, John? I'm torn. Yeah, <laughs> me too. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize that they were adding health meters. Mm, okay. Which uh, changes that game significantly. Yep. Um, I also uh, didn't realize, and I'm also not shocked, that it's very pay to win. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, like extremely. Yep. Um, but the core puzzle, fightle, puzzle, f- puzzle fighter mechanics are still there. They're still fun. Uh, it's a bit janky at times, especially with just touch controls. That's also, my like, problem. I've gotten you. I hated it at first. I've gotten used to it. Yeah. Uh, and apparently, you can change the sensitivity in settings, which makes it easier. Oh, okay. Uh, but my gripe is like on like match play. Like you'll 
put down your piece and then you'll have to sit there for like six seconds waiting for your next piece to show up. And I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know if it's just it's like you guys. Yeah. I don't know if it's just waiting for the next person to drop, like to drop their piece so you can get yours and you're getting them simultaneously. Yeah. Or if it's just a weird hiccup with the net issue that just is giving you an unintentional handicap or what? Yeah. It's I, weird. I feel like I, I've played matches against people that are like super high ranked and like they haven't dropped any pieces on me. And I can't tell if it's because there's just a weird glitch or what. Or like desync or something. Cause then it's yeah. like your whole screen will fill up somehow. Like it's yeah. weird. Like yeah. Like out of nowhere, like they'll just get barraged with like an impossible amount. Yeah. It's janky as fuck, honestly. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I'm still like I'm playing it enough to do the dailies because like yep. there's like three missions you can do and then you can get seven bonus prizes if you win seven rank matches. So I'm in I'm silver rank right now. Oh, OK, cool. But but uh, like the game in the tutorial gives you three characters and then like you get nothing forever. Is it the same characters? <laughs> uh, here's the thing. I've seen people with different sets. Who three? What three do you have? Well, you got Jill Valentine, didn't you? Because I think no. we, were, I thought we were chatting, and you said that we were we were chatting about the characters that were on the cover of the oh, game. Oh, on the cover. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jill, Jill, and Dante aren't in the game yet. Yeah. Okay. I got. I uh, the first one was Ryu. Second was Chun Li, yep. and third yep. was um. Oh my God! Who was the third? Frank. Chuck, Frank. Yeah. Frank. Okay, yep. so we got the exact same three. I got. I had Ryu, Chun Li, and Frank. Yeah. Okay. I've seen online people who've had Chuck Green, people who've had Mega Man X, Hagar. I've uh, seen a few Hagars. Yeah. Yeah. I finally got my fourth character out of the blue on one of the E Honda prize boats. Yeah. I got Ken. I have Ken now. Okay. But he's so he's so low level compared to everyone else on my team. I can't he's unusable. Use him yeah, I know. Right now, until I get the card parts I need for him, which is silly. Yep. Uh, there's two currencies in the game, gems and coins. You only get gems, as far as I've seen, uh, from either spending money or your monthly ranking prizes. I managed yeah. to rank in the uh, in like the two days the game was out, and I got like 15 gems or something small like that, and I've gotten nothing since. Yeah. Yep. Um. I, apparently so, they patched it so that matchmaking's a little better. Which I'm excited about because I stopped playing. They did. They did. It seemed like I was actually getting paired up with people my rank instead oh of people God. vastly higher or vastly lower. Oh, that would be so good. I need to play this later tonight. <laughs> yeah, change the sensitivity settings to get used to it, and then give it another shot. Um, like I said, I'm only playing it for dailies at this point. Yeah, it's all right. Um, I really wish it wasn't as pay to win as it is because I'd like to use certain characters. It's I'm also super bummed out. Win. Yeah. The uh, like to get a new character, you can buy characters, but you need gems, and it costs five hundred gems. Yeah, and you start with a hundred. Yeah, and you got and, and honestly fifteen yeah, I, <laughs> for your rank or something like. Yeah, oh, but man. I was like bronze rank. I was super low. Oh, okay. Uh, let me look and see how much five hundred gems is, because I'm curious now. Yeah, I am too. Uh, this game is not out in America. So. No. But okay. It sounds so it's like it's probably still in beta testing. Sounds then, like I'm not missing always. anything. You did guys you don't seem ever, happy. Did you ever play the original Puzzle Fighter? I haven't. So I was actually like, oh, cool. I can play some. But it sounds like you guys don't like this game. It's uh, fine. I mean, I, it's okay. Like, I'm playing it for dailies. I'm still enjoying it. But, like, it could be so much more. Like, the the full roster of characters isn't out yet. They've already they've shown more than are actually out. Right now, you can get Chun Li, Ryu, Frank, Ken, Chuck Green from Dead Rising Two, Dan from Street Fighter, E Honda from Street Fighter, Hagar from Final Fight, M Bison from Street Fighter, Morgan from Darkstalkers, uh, Nash from Street Fighter, and Mega Man X. Right. So that's the characters you can get now. I've seen that they were going to do Jill Valentine and Dante because they were on like the, the yep. download screen for the game. Yep. Yep. But, and like I said, the the lockout or the rate you get characters and stuff like that is really slow. They really want you to just drop money on it. Yep. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's 500 gems to unlock someone and to buy gems. Uh, 500 gems is $7. Canadian, I guess, in this case. Okay, so probably 500 is $5 American, maybe. Probably. Yeah. 
Just Maybe. So, so yeah, but would... still, that's that's to get one character. And for example, yeah. right now, the character to unlock right now is Dan, which is a terrible choice. You right. don't you don't play as Dan in these games. You will get destroyed. Yeah, you know like what? The characters I've... aren't balanced. Well, well, no. So so characters have a difficulty ranking behind them. And uh, Dan is a difficulty five because all the garbage gems he drops on the opponent's side are the same color. Right. Okay. Which which means uh, if you don't kill the the other person in like five turns, they can destroy you because right. they can. So uh, whenever you make gar- whenever you clear gems, they appear on the other side, but they appear as like these little time blocks. And after they've taken five turns, they turn into normal gems. And when all of when similar gems are close enough together, they fuse into bigger gems, and the bigger yeah, gem means you get stronger combo. attack. Yeah. So basically, if you don't kill someone in five turns, as Dan, you're you're auto dead. Yeah. Okay. But he, he he can be used as an assist. I don't know what his assist moves are. Um, oh, he ups your damage for ten seconds. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Yeah, like uh, each character has a power rating out of five, a health rating out of five, which is critical. And uh, difficulty, and the difficulty basically dictates what colored gems you drop on the opponent. Uh, mm-hmm. By for comparison, Chun Li, who I've been using as my main character, has a power ranking of four, health of two, and difficulty of two. Hmm. I think it's yeah. Okay. I don't know. It's it's all right for what it is. I give it a try, and see if it's for you. But like, all you have are like three missions you can do daily. And then online ranking. That's all there is there. So there's nothing. There's not really a solo player component otherwise. So I wish there was just a button that you could tap to insta drop instead of having to like swipe down. That too, because I have I have had some pieces move out of the way because of that, and which has really pissed me off. And then, but lately I haven't had that problem anymore. So I don't know if I just got used to it or what. Yeah, it broke your brain in the way it wanted to. Now you're gonna start buying gems. No, God, no. (laughs) <laughs> it would make it way easier because it really sucks like uh, if you fight someone who's got a high power ranking that's like multiple levels ahead of you they will just you'll just get curb stomped it does not matter how good you are at the game yep. they just will do more damage to you it's like it's not like old puzzle fighter where like skill matters as much as like you can be out dps basically no matter yeah. what it's a bummer which is bit- yeah, because like if you fill someone's screen, it doesn't kill them. It just does a lot of damage to them. Yep. And you have supers, which is also weird. But there you go. Uh, I don't know. I, I like it, but like it's not for everyone easily. It's just like my oh, I got to do my dailies game right now. Sure. Uh, let's move on to Cuphead, which I think all of us have played. Yes. Yep. Fuck that game. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. There's some asshole like you shit. You don't like it, or it's just like really hard. It, it's a glitchy mess. Oh, okay. I, oh, really? I, I've, <laughs> I've fallen through floors. I've been damaged okay. by attacks that aren't there. Uh, it, the game has crashed on me multiple times. Enemies have been not died from being attacked at all. It it's has had frame rate hitchings. I've had a, an awful time with Cuphead. What are you playing it on? That's Steam. really weird. Steam, okay. That's what I was doing. I haven't uh, had yeah. I, most of those issues. Score, score rankings are fucked up at times. They're not actually triggering like proper rankings. Yeah, it's been, they're like, weird. There's been so many shitty things. Like some of the boss fights are awful. Most it, of them are of good. Because bugs, right? No, well, not even. Well, that too. That made the <laughs> the last boss miserable. Okay. Uh, so I've beaten the game and I'm halfway through expert, just as a state of reference. So like sure. I I've played enough of the game that I have a good grasp on it. Sure. Yeah, no, I've kind of have like had a half miserable time. Anytime I try to get, I start getting back into it, something happens that pulls me right out of it. That's too uh, bad because that's one of my yeah. favorite games of this year. <laughs> it's probably not making my top 10 this year. It's probably not. But it looks real good. I mean, it might. Oh, the, okay, the presentation <laughs> is phenomenal, the music is phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. But man, I like, I've either been bored playing that game or pissed off because it keeps glitching. Okay, well, okay. Why even bored? That's a different... That's um, new. Just the boss fights. Some of the boss fights aren't fun. Like The boss fights are like my favorite parts. I am not a huge fan of the... Oh, uh, the running gun, gun stage just sucks. Yeah, they're they're pretty bad. I don't think they're they're bad. They're just... I have, I have way more fun with the boss fights. Sure. 
Some of the boss fights aren't very good, though. Like, some I like a lot, though. I'm trying to think. I think can, can we agree that the B fight sucks? Yes. The B Go. fight is was my first wall that I slammed into. Oh, you know, what, you you know guys. what the shitty thing is? I just realized this, too. That was one of the demo stages they had four, three or four years Amazing. ago. Amazing. Wow. So I have played that one, that stage before, and it's just as bad now. So I'm not very far. I'm also, oh. <laughs> I'm just not very good at this game. Okay. That's um, fair. The game is hard, I will it's, say. It's yeah. hard, and sure. it's not like I'm saying, like, it's too hard, but it just kind of ends up being like, all right, I have an hour to play some games. Right. Do I want to hit my head against one boss for an hour, or do I want to, like, play, like, three, like, missions in Destiny 2? Um, sure. So I just haven't been playing it a ton. Right. Um. I mean, I really like it, but it's like literally just coming down to like, what's a better use of my time, which is That's kind fair. of unfortunate. Like, here's mm. the thing. Like, it took me six hours to complete all of Cuphead. And probably one of those six hours was me just hitting my head against the final boss because of weird glitched out shit or like just not being good enough to figure out how to kill it. That sucks. I'm, I'm at the, <laughs> the beginning really of World World but, 2. But you know what the okay. weird thing is? And apparently this is not the case. Uh, you know the boss before the final boss? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm saying this to Paul. Uh, I beat him my first try. That's weird. See, that's where yeah. I that's where I was beating my head. I was just like, this is fucking I had, garbage. I had no problem with that stage. Like, that was weird. a cool stage. I'm like, this is a sick Gunstar Heroes reference. Yeah. And well, to be fair, I only got through it my first try because I actually understood, like, the the health gaining mechanic i ended with one hit point yeah 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 but like yeah i i didn't die to that character at all so i was like oh hmm. okay cool then but this was the one i heard people having problems with so maybe the boss is the final boss isn't that bad see i found Ooh, the final boss it. way easier than the second final one i had a hard <laughs> time with the final boss but part of that was because one of his attacks literally uh the safe spot you're supposed to stand in you can you still take damage and then, like, if you use uh, a super during some of his moves, they actually continue to move when they're supposed to have stopped, and Wait. there is no safe spot. Are you saying the third phase of the last boss, specifically? First phase. Oh, the first, first phase. phase. Oh, okay. The first phase is the worst part of that boss, like, by far. I was having, actually, a hard time trying to figure out the second one correctly, but that's because I was using a weird fighting setup. Okay. So I went I went through the entire game without using the smoke bomb dodge and Oh, the that's charge. so easy. It makes it so and easy. That, yeah, turning off I didn't have smoke bomb and I didn't have charge. Now that okay. I'm playing through an expert, I'm using both and wow, it's night and day. Yeah. What is uh what does the smoke bomb dodge do? That means uh, you turn invisible when you dodge, but you also can't get damage while you're dodging. Yeah, you're invincible. Oh, okay. While you can you get dodge. that at the beginning. You like, yeah. It's like a teleport kind of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so yeah, I'm I, using. I just chose not to use it. I was using coffee, which gives you slowly gives you more super. Mm. Oh, okay. What's the what's the gun I should be using? Because I'm using like the homing one. If you uh, the homing does, I think the least amount of damage out of them all. That's my least favorite, honestly. Okay, because I mean, I don't. No, have to, that's like, not true. Lobber's on, garbage. Like, <laughs> Lobber's garbage. Lobber's, Lobber's stuff. Is so bad. <laughs> I, yeah. I haven't used roundabout. I don't know if roundabout's that's good or not actually great for some bosses. Okay. Yeah. Sean, in my opinion, the best guns in the game, hands the hands down, the charge gun charge is shot. the best gun. Yep. No matter what. Yep. Second best is your default gun. Yep. That's one hundred percent correct. Uh, okay. My my setup for most of the game was default gun and like the spread shot because supposedly the spread shot did more damage. I, I always the spread I, shot. I eventually found that the main gun just worked faster. Yep. Because I think it spread out. The the it was more damage, but it spread it out. So if you couldn't get it with all, like a boss with all three things, I think it was less damage probably, or about the same. Yeah, basically. Did you guys change your button layouts? Yes. Yep. Because I'm at a I'm at a point where it's like, I I know it's probably better if I change my button layouts, but I'm kind of just used to the shitty one. What um? And I don't want to like how far are you? Myself it. I'm just at the beginning of World 2. Reteach yourself to something that's comfortable because it gets fucking hard in the third act. Yeah. Okay, what do you What do you guys so, have? What did you switch up? Uh, dash is right trigger. Okay. Well, right bumper for uh, me, but yep, I'm with you. Yep. Uh, I changed weapon lock, so you lock yourself in place and shoot in eight directions. I, that's left trigger for me. That's left bumper okay. for me, yep. And I put left bumper as weapon change. I put Y as weapon change for me. That's that's fair. Okay. But yeah, uh, jump was still A, shoot was still X, yep. and bomb was still B. Yep. 
Okay. All right. Well, it's really, yeah, it's really I should, I should only dash. You need to move. Dash yeah. is so fucking bad. <laughs> Defaulted to Y. Oh man. Yeah, Keon's asking. Really, the different guns are a downgrade compared to the default. Well, they all have perks, but yeah. like the default one is actually weirdly well rounded for it's what it good. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you guys don't like the homing one because I I like it because I can just the, focus on dodging. The only time I have used homing gun was on the expert stage for the dancing flower. I mean, and that's because there yeah. were so many like small things chasing me that it made sense for me to like have a homing weapon. Yeah, there's like. Any boss fight where there's a bunch of shit on the screen that, like, you actually need to kind of get rid of, it's fine, but... Yeah, like, it does so little damage, like, it only... Yeah. It, there's very few instances I could find a case that I would use it and still be safe. Okay. Yep. Like I said, I went through most of the game with default gun and spread shot, but now my setup is charge shot and whatever I feel the stage needs. Just because Which we I haven't talked about it lobber is a shitty like arcing down shot that does a bunch of damage but like it's always bad in almost every situation um mc johnson mm -hmm. i'm gonna say start out they're saying mc johnson in the chat says i'll hold out slim hopes for a ps4 switch version and also that they iron out some of these problems don't it's microsoft funded it ain't coming out on ps4 or switch yeah, yeah that's true yep that's i mean it, it could be timed exclusive but like it's got to be it, there's there's at least Microsoft's a year Microsoft's in the fucking credits of the game dude it ain't it ain't coming out on those Yeah episodes. that's true that's true yeah yeah uh, Also I did so in terms of your bugs I didn't get or I haven't gotten any of them I got a few I got a few where it seems like I jumped on a platform but I fell through it randomly and I don't know why Yeah now, like, I, I was thinking at first, like, oh, maybe I held down and jumped through the platform. So I yep. found a couple places to keep testing, and I was like, oh, no, I'm not holding down, and I'm falling through the floor. It happens in a few spots, yeah. yeah. There's a few glitches you can take advantage of on some bosses, though, that are oh, fun. Oh, my God. After how fucking... Okay, so I ended the game with 112 deaths. Okay. But, yeah. but I also ended up i retried a couple so that didn't count deaths and i also was stupid enough to do some of the pacifist runs oh god Wait, that, hitting, hitting pause account. and retry doesn't count as a, as death? a death no that it no. should that should count as a death well i mean what if you what if it's you not decide a death, to though. change a weapon or something <laughs> yeah i feel like that's a death i feel like you're you at that point you're gonna say well i'm gonna die i'm not gonna succeed so i might as well just retry and save a bit of time sure anyway, that's just that's just my philosophy of it but anyway you were saying yeah um yeah so probably it probably does still equals that to about 112 but like a lot of those were just on the final boss for me it just took forever to get through him sure and then i found out after i beat him there's a glitch you can use where yeah. you skip phases two and three completely and i yep. went back and did that on expert and goddamn was that cathartic yeah it was just so nice to be like, ha ha, fuck you, I'm done an expert fight, don't need if to If people want to know what we're talking about, there's videos out there, go look it up, otherwise. Yeah. Very, very easy to find, that'll get patched out real soon, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I'm I sure had known a lot that. Of my complaints. I'm yeah. sure a lot of my complaints will actually get patched out, honestly. Yeah, I agree. But, like, um, I guess my main, I have two main gripes. A, like, I I've kind of felt fatigue playing it, I guess. So I just, I just got bored during certain parts. Okay. Like it just, it, you know how super meat boy like throws you back in super fast and you don't usually feel as fatigued. Cause you're like yes. right back in it. Yep. I mean, cuphead also does that, but for some reason it wasn't stopping me from feeling bored and fatigued, hmm. which was really weird. I don't know why, why the dissonance on was that it, one. Was it just like maybe the day that you played it? Like you just had a bad day. You just have a bad day. Nah. No, I, I went back like a day or two later, and I was still like, no, I'm just, I'm pretty much just doing the motions on this right now. See, I'm just happy because, like, I really like Mega Man games, but I've always hated that if I die at a boss, learning the boss, I have to play that whole level again. So I'm really <laughs> glad it's just boss fights and not a level before no, each boss. I, I wish that it felt like you were doing more damage in the game, too. Like, it really yeah. feels like you're not ever doing damage which really bums me out so you just want to feel until, like a health until, meter maybe i actually think that might actually help a bit too because sometimes i sure. look at the health meter after like you die and it's like okay i'm it looks like i've crossed the flag why aren't they dead or why didn't they change forms yeah like, I, oh you mean like the progress meter yeah yeah i like yeah. that they have that that's always nice i, I like yeah. that they oh, have that that's real it. smart 
but like, yeah, I, I wish sometimes it doesn't feel like as good of a readout as it should. There's one know, boss sw- that that thing is fucked with. It is completely off. John Giant Robot. That's all I'll say. But oh, yeah. that progress that meter really is weird. actually wrong. <laughs> that fight's really weird in general. Yeah. Yo, I'm not. I, I think I'm a little bummed out about the all the shmup stages, too, because like you can't you don't really improve your character as much. Yeah, like you no, have you're less right. less control over upgrading your character. Yeah, choosing your loadout that, is what makes this game special to me. Yeah, for sure. And that and you can't do that at all. I've only played the one shmup level and I actually really enjoyed it. I mean, for shmup, it's fine. But like it, I prefer like the on foot boss stages hands down versus yeah. the, uh, the plain ones. And world stage two has a ton of them. And then I barely remember any in world three. I think just the one we were talking about, honestly. No, no, no. Oh, God. I had to forget about her. Yeah. No, there's like two. Three in world She's three. my favorite character design in that game. She was an interesting character design. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love the character designs. They're real good. They're really good. Like, they, they, they epitomize like that look that, perfectly, that animation that era. style. Like, yeah. like I said, the presentation and the music are like fucking full marks. Yep. But like, I, I'm probably like, I'd call it like a seven out of 10, maybe for me see, see i wanted more of it and that's my grip with it, is that i felt a little too short like i think one more world would have been nice because i finished it within the first day like well maybe they'll do like dlc like a, a world a new I world ho- i hope so but wonder, i'm not holding my breath think about that so yeah it's selling really well sure yeah so. but i mean they took out two mortgages on their houses to pay for it so it needs to sell more than very well I, I want them to get their like monies back and then some for having made it. I'm just stoked that one of them's from the Saskatchewan. Oh, I thought <laughs> oh, they were really? both Canadian. Yeah, they're both Canadian, but one of them lives in Toronto and one in Saskatchewan. That's a way better uh, province. Toronto? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, just anything but Saskatchewan. Actually, that's not true. Winnipeg sucks. And a Toronto is not a province. Manitoba There's also sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saskatchewan yeah. is boring. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but... Yeah, it's Thanksgiving up here this weekend. Let's chill down the Canadian That's right. Just Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yeah, thanks. Hey. You guys doing anything cool for Thanksgiving? Eating. Going to my sister's place on Sunday. Yep. It's cool. We're doing ours on Sunday because mom and dad are coming down. Nice. That's good. Nice. Nice. Uh, favorite bosses in Cuphead. Let's just round it out with that, I guess. Ooh. Uh, I mean, I haven't played a ton of them. Um, okay, Sean, you go first then. Uh, I I liked the plain one, the one okay. plain one I did. That was fun. Okay, so that would have been um, Helga Blimp or whatever her name is. Yeah, Helga. Yeah. Uh, what, Heldeberg or something? Hildeberg. Yeah, that that sounds right. Hildeberg. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, which makes sense. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I really liked the second last boss fight because of the Gunstar Heroes reference. I fucking Uh, knew when I saw that I'm like oh John needs to play this (laughs) yeah but like I I apparently I skipped all like the the super hard ones because I looked back later and which ones did you do I saw uh, if you remember the stogie stogie's easy Uh, yeah the monkey on a crane monkey on the crane's a pain in the ass you can't just like list off a bunch of them. I want to be like surprised. It's actually so. one boss. You, you might not actually fight these. <laughs> yeah. No, I. I mean, I'm not planning to not play it. Like, I'm, no, no, I, no. I literally mean you may not fight. These. It's a random like, chance sort of thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> it'll it'll make sense when you get there. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, I don't remember what the third one okay. was, but I only I only fought oh, three. That reminds me of another problem I have with this game. They go a little too far with the foreground elements in some spots, which make it like... Oh my god, uh, really yes! Really annoying. Holy that, and that made me remember what the third one was. It was the <laughs> horse jockey. Yeah, okay. That's the one I'm thinking about, too. It's so fucking bad. Holy shit. There's trees in your face while you're trying to play. It's like, yeah, fuck. Fuck that level. Fuck it. I hate it so much. Yo, um, that also reminds me. I had another glitch during the final boss where my gun wouldn't actually fire bullets. Okay, that's like the worst. Like, seriously, <laughs> fuck I've ever. This patch this shit, and then maybe I'll stop <laughs> complaining about it. But I beat it, and I've played through most of it on expert. So fuck it, I'm allowed to complain now. I mean, can't that's me that fair. Can't, but can't get good shit. I've already done that shit. Now I can complain all I want. 
And I will not complain because I didn't have any of those terrible issues, <laughs> like not being able to play the game. Like, it's funny, like I was sitting down, like having all these issues. I'm like, this is just turning into another Ori in the Blind Forest for me. Yeah, this is going to be a case where like everyone loves the game and I hate it because I had a miserable time compared to everyone else. If it makes you maybe feel you any should better, just stop having a buggy games. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll get right on that. All right, there you go. Yeah. Um, big late, big sea lady. I'll say is my favorite. That wasn't I. Can you dodge that move she does in the final phase? I don't think so. Either that I'll or I'm bad. Thought. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Good like, good luck S ranking shit is all I'll say. Um, yeah. What's another good fight? I can think of. There's gotta be one more I can think of. What about in the first thing? Like on the first island. The first island, your favorite boss. I really like I, Dancing Flower I, a lot. I kind of like the. The, I hated the dancing flower for a bit until I finally got that used to fighting so it. That music is so good. I think it took me <laughs> a while. So yeah, but that, I got stuck on stream on that one for a while. Um, I actually liked the frog fight on the boat. The two, the oh two my frogs. god, yeah. I forgot about that one. I think I beat that one really quickly. Yeah, that was a fun fight. And on Expert, all it is is just faster and more, really. Yeah. It's just re more relentless, really, on Expert. Yeah. Man, there's some good fights in that game. Worst fight's the train. I hate that fucking fight. I hated it so much. Uh, I actually kind of liked it, but I was also at the point where I was getting irritable while fighting it, so it was a bit annoying. <laughs> okay, but like, so, so here's the thing. The only part about that fight that sucks yeah. is the final part. Really? Because for me, yeah. it's the first part that I couldn't... Every The second and third I was okay with. It was the, the first. The first part? All you <laughs> have to do is just fire forward. Yeah, but there's bats that drop the thing. Yeah, you just parry those. Yeah, it's just annoying. It was just fucking I don't know. irritating. I had no problem with the first part at all. Um, The second part was weird till I found all the safe spots. And the third part was just always a joke. It was the last part where you had to, like... um. I guess juggle everything and you could only attack him for a limited amount of time which I didn't like yeah there were weird and I, I had no good weapon for dealing with him because I had the short range shotgun and like the standard gun so I had to like I was like oh I have to make sure I'm doing a standard shot oh wait I have to dodge all this too I don't know I kind of wish some, some of the bosses were more readable as well like first I didn't get very many first reads on bosses like it took some trial and oh error oh my god I hate that some bosses straight up have a move that has like no tell or yep. like you can't even tell it's a tell till it's too late. Yep. Like uh, the, the boat. Yes. That, yeah. The thing you're talking about got me actually. Yeah. <laughs> the first time. It got me too. And it okay. got my cousin too. It got a lot of people. Cool. I guess that's one thing I hated. There's like learning through memorization and then there's also like, yeah, just fuck you. You died now. Now you have to redo everything. Yeah, it makes it feel a little cheaper. Yeah, there were some boss fights that just felt a little too cheap, and I felt like most bosses with normal guns took too long to beat, but now yeah. that I'm using the charge gun, it feels like they take just the right amount. It's I, really weird. I, I actually feel like they designed the game around the charge, the charge gun. gun. Yeah, like an X-Buster sort of thing but then or something. They, but then they realized it was too powerful, and so they nerfed it by making you lose charge when you dash or parry. Yes, I, 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 I honest to God feel like they may have just had to nerf that move because they realized it was too good, but it's designed possible. around it. It's, it's possible. That is my favorite gun, though, by far, because for one thing, it just like that's I've been playing or I was playing a few weeks ago, a lot of 20 XX. And that's that yeah. game. Like that's Cuphead, <laughs> basically. So, yeah, it just felt more natural using the charge gun and holding down all the time. Doing a bunch of damage. Yeah. I'm interested to, um, Sean, when you get further into it, see if your opinion changes when you if, get to some will, bullshit yeah, like, bosses. I'm wondering if you keep playing it. I think he'll keep playing it. Yeah, I just, it's just, like, there's just other stuff I'd rather play, and it's, like I said, it's like, this almost feels like a waste of time. Like a chore, almost. Yeah, because, like, even if I get, sure. like, one boss fight done, it's like I could have, like, gone through several levels or something else so it's i i just need to like sit down and like i don't know it's just i have to just like get into the right mindset i think is what the what the case is i'm so happy to hear john say that the fucking bee 
is like the bullshit yeah. because that's the no, first t- time i was like you know what this game's actually bullshit as i was playing it that's the first time you know, i got dude, mad you know what the weird thing is? okay so to describe this stage uh, sean you can plug your ears if you want don't want to hear this whatever um uh yeah, well, you're in a, you're in a hive and it's scrolling up and you have to jump on these platforms to avoid like just falling off the stage but not all of the squares have spaces yeah. so like you can be moving around and then suddenly there won't be any platforms you can use to jump and you're just yeah. stuck or you have to dodge dash back onto the other side um it also makes parrying a pain in the ass because the platforms are so close together half the time you will just land before you parry yep weirdly enough the expert fight fixes that by just upping the scroll speed and it actually feels like a decent stage like i didn't hate it nearly as much on expert as i did a normal that's actually it was, annoying it was really hear. weird <laughs> okay yeah. It might actually I, now I'm also wondering shit, did they actually dumb it down and is normal what was originally supposed to be like easy or something like that? I doubt mm. it. I don't know. Also, uh, have you heard how ridiculous these stages are on simple? Like they're apparently jokes. I haven't actually bothered. I was thinking of doing some simple just to like figure out the how the boss works. Mm. So, but. here's the here's the deal. Uh, if you play it on simple, you you straight up skip phases of the fight like certain phases just don't appear oh but as a, but as a trade off you don't get the contract for beating the stage so it doesn't count as beating the stage if you beat it yeah. on simple yeah that's oh. why i haven't done it yet cuz you yeah. you can't get to the end without playing yeah. it on uh, medium or whatever it is yeah also yeah like the straight up the final two stages you can't do them on simple it's normal and expert only and expert is black and white right no, uh, that is a, a color scheme you unlock oh, by okay. uh, pacifist running all of the running gun stages. Pacifist is that's cool. I'm not going to do that, but that's cool. Dude, to put enough. that in there. No, <laughs> I was so pissed because you have to use like these weird tricks to get through in pacifist mode, which kind of sucked. That sounds d- that sounds cool. No, I mean, like, literally, like, you have to get to a certain point with, like, a super, which gives you an extra jump, which lets you jump over these things you can't normally jump over. It's. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of sounds like, uh, I, like I, I had hunting. to look up. I had to look up how to do it because I was like, I, how do I do this? And then it was like, oh, I have to use this move. I have not used the entire game. Okay. But isn't that kind of cool? Like it's forcing you to play differently. Uh, there's a difference between forcing it to be differently and like feeling really obtuse. I don't know. But it's, I a, was, I it's not the main game. It. So I feel like it's okay to be weirdly obtuse in like this side mode. I, you know what? I guess you're right on that. I'll give it to you on that. But like I was, I think it's because I was also still a little heated because I just finished the game. When I so when I went back to do some of the stages, and I was like, "Oh yeah, you can't do this at all with your setup. You actually have to restart and un- understand that this specific thing that if you select it, it will give you the ability to get through only if you do this specific input." So when when you just said "but" for a second there, I thought you were gonna finish that thought with "yeah," but I. I also experienced like three new bugs when I was trying to do it. So like, just fuck this mode too. No, weirdly <laughs> enough, that was, I didn't have any bugs doing run and gun. Well, okay. During pacifist run and gun. Oh, there you go. I don't know. I have one more uh, question and then we can move on. Okay. If yeah. That's fine for run and gun pacifist specifically. The first run and gun, not for a second run and gun level. I think the tree one where you're in a yeah. tree. How yeah. do you get past that dude that spits fire at the very end? Like you pacifist. just dash through him. You just straight up dash through Oh, really? Through him. Okay, so yeah. either you take a hit or you use you the don't, invincibility. You don't even, the camera doesn't pan until you touch the end of the screen, then it just shifts over and you land fine. Okay, okay. That's so you, you can either, yeah, you can either just take the hit and dash through him, or um, you can use invincibility. Okay. There's, yeah. You can get invincibility? Yeah, that's that's your next super is invincibility. Oh, cool. Can't wait. I could use that. I never used uh, that one, actually, to be honest. Yeah, neither did I, because I was like, I, it, it seems like it'd be better to do damage. Or like the third one is kind of cool, but you have, to figure out how to, you have to figure out how to use it. I only found one boss I could use it correctly on. Yeah, me too. The rat for me. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Same one. And this is it's, why John and I get along. To, if you can figure out how to use it, though, it does good damage. It's really good. If you can use it. Yeah. I just like the first one, to be honest. It was simple. Most, it was effective. Almost everyone I've seen who plays through the game uses the first one. Yep. 
Uh, other than that, I also played A Hat in Time, which came out this week. Yes, I'm interested in this a little bit. Yo, this game's actually pretty good. Okay. It's like Banjo Kazooie, right? It's a... Yeah, but that's like, why I'm a little not interested. I need to know more about this game. All right, so it's a collectathon. Yep. But the really the only things you're collecting are like the the star equivalent in this game, which is uh, time pieces or time fuel. Okay. Uh, you can also collect gems along the way to, to use as currency. You don't have to collect them all like in Banjo Kazooie. You just you, they just respawn every time you come in, anyways. It's just money you eventually pool up to buy items. Okay. Um, there's a couple of extra things you can find. There's yarn to make new hats, so you get new powers. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Each, each world has a different like hat you can get, or or multiple hats. I think the first world gave you two. Yep. Uh. What else? There is Super Mario Sunshine esque bonus levels for for uh, star pieces or what do you want to call them? Uh, time pieces. Okay. Like what? So like what you know how in bonus? Super Mario Sunshine the weird abstract like oh you're jumping around on like toy blocks and you don't oh, have where like, yeah blood it's just like straight platforming. Yeah, like yeah, okay. it straight up has zones like that. Like you're in like a weird like space area and everything's like monochrome looking, but you have to just like there's rotating platforms. Okay. It is basically like the Super Mario Sunshine bonus levels. All right. Um, God, what else? I don't think there's too many. I think that there's only five worlds is what the dev said. And then there's two coming as DLC. That's free. Okay. Cool. Uh, DLC is going to be free. Supposedly. That's nice of them. Yep. It's because it was a Kickstarter game. So I think they they hit the goal. So it's free. Okay. Um, the your controls are like surprisingly like tight. They're really good. You start with a double jump and a midair dash. Oh, double jump is the best beautiful. game mechanic. Double jump, it, like you, f- you really feel like you're covering ground when you play the game. You can also run up walls a little bit to wall jump, but that mechanic's been a little janky for me because sometimes like he, she'll just run in place, and other times she'll like cover ground and then jump. Hmm. So it, I don't know. That's the only real control issue I've had. Like, she'll seem a little slippery with certain walls, but other than that, like, it's been surprisingly tight. Okay. You're selling me more on on this. Yeah, what are you playing Uh, on? Good. Uh, I'm playing it on Steam. Uh, I believe it's only available on on computers right now, on PC. You get it in Humble, good old games, and Steam. It will eventually be on PS4 and Xbox One. There's rumors they're going to see if they can get it on Switch, but right now, uh, in the f- and it'll so- be ten bucks more, probably later in yeah, the fall. It will be on PS4 and Xbox One. And they saw uh, they sent you a code, right? Yeah, uh, cool. they they were doing a call out where like uh, they said recommend us some streamers and YouTubers, and we'll give them a code. Didn't you so- do that for something else recently too? Uh, Mario and Rabbits. Hashtag ad. Oh, okay. Yeah, that seems to be a more and more popular thing. Yeah. Uh, I didn't... Well, I mean, they just gave me the game. They were like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. So I decided, okay, I'll stream it. Yeah. So I, I disclosed that. I disclosed they gave me the game, but I didn't of have course. the hashtag added because I wasn't paid for it. <laughs> sure. Oh, were you paid for the Rabbids one? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, it was... It's, Did I you finish really the game? No. We Did got... Plan to? Nine, we got nine out of... 40 collectibles in i think okay okay but it's not grabbing you enough to continue oh like i streamed it wednesday it's only friday like <laughs> well no, yeah. that's what i'm saying it's like do you plan to play more of it or you I, kind I, of had your I, will, I will continue to play it i really okay. enjoyed it uh the writing is like nice and fun and lighthearted. um but there is some like dark shit in it which made me laugh severely because i didn't expect it did you play ukulele no okay yeah i was, waiting, I was saying- waiting for the switch release yeah, you because know, a lot of people are saying like, you know, this is this one's great, but it's ukulele was also trying to do the good thing. And I'm just wondering, like, what what is different? Why so, is this one? So good? I think why this one succeeds where ukulele fails is that the stages feel more interesting. Okay. okay. A lot of people I saw were complaining about like the stages weren't that interesting or like they were just like they didn't feel like they were designed very well. This one feels like the stages were designed and like there's stuff to do. Or there's secrets to find, and I don't like I can't compare it to ukulele because I never played it. Right, but and like, then I'm I on heard, the other half. I can't compare it to this. So yeah, mm-hmm. but like uh, I also didn't feel like there were any ca- real camera issues. Like maybe like when I talked to an NPC, a camera went behind a wall or something. But when I was moving around, I had no real camera problems. 
Uh, the only problem I did have, and this is because they were still like tweaking things with patches, I had a major issue where I couldn't use my controller. And I had to talk to the devs before my stream went live, being like, hey, I want to stream this, but I can't use an Xbox One controller. And they're like, I have no idea why this is happening. Here, we've pushed a patch. Try this. Nope. Push another patch. Try this. Nope. I spent two hours talking with them on Twitter oh, trying man. to fix it. And it ends up, it was because of fucking Steam controllers that uh, I couldn't use it. Hmm. Wait, you have a Steam was, controller? I do, but I, yeah. I've never used it on this thing. Oh, okay. Uh, so it ends up, the profile for Steam controllers was fucking around with most controller profiles, including Xbox One controllers. So, Okay. This is, like now, side, this is like a side thing. What, why do you have a Steam controller? What do you play with it? Someone gave me one. Oh, okay. So you don't have like, oh no, it's great for this game. No, I don't have any specific game I recommend it for. I okay. I just have a Steam controller. Okay. I think I think they're supposed to be really good for using on Steam Link though, but I don't have a Steam Link either. So I don't know why that would be the case. Like I have a Steam Link, and it's just like it's the equivalent of plugging my computer into the TV. It's not like it. Yeah. It, like maybe to, maybe to use the mouse. Is that what you're talking about? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I. I a friend of mine called it the flagship controller for Steam, and I called him an idiot. <laughs> So <laughs> everybody knows the 360 I mean, I guess and I guess it's up. technically their flagship sure. controller. Like right, he didn't mean it I, that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else to say about your games, John? No, nope, that's it. I'm done. All right. We're making right, a great we're time. Not, sorry, we're, we're not doing a news section this week. <laughs> sorry, we went on about Cuphead a lot. Yeah, there's oh, no nice. news. So. Good. This is good. Yeah, there's no news. Um, Paul, what are you what are you up to? Uh, Puzzle Fighter. So my problems with... No, I'm kidding. We talked about that. Uh, def- <laughs> playing Cuphead, tell us all your favorite yeah, bosses. Yeah, let's, let's talk about uh, Cuphead. All more. right, right now, I want your favorite stage from each boss. Okay. Yeah. Favorite stage from each boss? I guess that would be a different conversation, but we're not going to get into that. Yeah, that was uh, a joke. Yeah. So I finally got a good four-player session of Divinity Original Sin 2 in, a good like six-hour session. People and seem to be going nuts over this game. That game is fucking amazing. That's an amazing oh. game. <laughs> is it, yeah. it is a 10 out of 10 on GameSpot. Yeah. It's probably 8, 9, or 10, somewhere in there, depending. Like, these type of games are fine. The, like, CRPG, old school, like, style RPGs um, are fine solo. But the fact that you can play four-player co-op is, like makes that really fun. It's basically like playing an actual good digital version of D&D where the game is like your game master. And it's I'm going like to go ahead and say really any nice. game that you can play co-op, will, that improves it. Yeah, probably. Like, I can't think of any game where it's like, man, I wish my friends weren't enjoying this with me. Here's a, a better way to put it. It's like Magicka if Magicka was good and you could play more than just Wizards. Okay. Yeah. So... It's, I don't know. It's the story. Yeah, the writing is, is real good. The writing's good. The story is pretty good. It looks beautiful. Uh, combat and all that stuff feels really good, especially when you're playing with other people. And instead of you making the decisions where like I'm gonna put this guy here and he's gonna cast this and blah blah blah, you're controlling four people. There's four different people controlling their own characters, and you're all trying to work together or screw each other over and stuff. So there's just like, it's the type of game that just like breed some good co-op weird shit happening sure like, like for a, example like one of four swords adventures sure one of the like things that happened is my one of uh, uh one of my friends was fucking around and like he's an enchanter or whatever and he like cast some ice on the ground as we're like we're not in a fight we're just like bugging each other and then like he starts walking and he slips on his own ice and falls and gets knocked out for like a second just shit like that is just funny so we laughed about that and the mechanics in the game where like if there's blood on the ground it'll uh transmit electricity through enemies that are standing in it or people standing in it and that sort of thing like it's really cool that's a very good game and i can't wait to play more of it um other than that Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer beta came out today, or was released today, an open beta, and I've been playing that most of today. How is it? It is way, way better than the first one. That's good to hear. Yeah. The first one, I felt like 
was almost like a proof of concept of we can make these giant Star Wars worlds with uh, great sound giant design. Giant Darth Vader's. We can make them. It's well, 2016. Yeah, exactly. We can make Hoth. All the Darth or Vader's you could want. And or these big like wars with um, the sound design and stuff being on point. But it's kind of boring. Like it's kind of just shooting randomly, hoping you hit something. Like it didn't feel very good. This game feels actually pretty good. And it has all that stuff. Like this feels like what the first game should have been. And that's pretty exciting, I guess. Like, I p actually played more of it, more of this beta than I played all of the first Battlefront, and I have the first Battlefront, so... How many more lightsabers are in this one? I mean, Darth Maul's in it, so all automatically there's there two go. more they there. Doubled plus the two. lightsabers? That's plus two already. <laughs> yeah. I come to Star Wars for lightsabers, and if you're telling me they have doubled them, then that's a plus. They have doubled them, yep. But back of the box... Bullet point, twice as many lightsabers. Yep. As Homer uh, points out, the space battles look way better. They are. Like, the space battles feel really good. Being able to respawn as a fighter if you have enough points to, like, purchase one when you die and, like, kill a bunch of ground forces as a TIE fighter and stuff like that, that shit's really cool. Being able to spawn. Was like, is, wasn't mm -hmm. that from the originals? Yep. Yeah, this is basically the so, game that the so last one should have it's been. It's on par with the originals now. It took two games to get back to where it already yep. was. Yep. All this right. is this is what the last one should have been. John, you're not listening. They got twice as many lightsabers. <laughs> it's true. Yep. You're Ray, right. How can you even compare the two? Ray is the other. Here. Is the other. He has side. a lightsaber on both both sides of his handle. Yep. He's super fast too. He's. He's actually kind of annoying to deal with, to be honest with you. Yeah. Does, uh, yeah, like two people got to deal with him because there's does got Duel two lights. Fates start playing when he shows up? Because if not, then I'm not buying the game. Uh, I don't think like so. Duel, like, Duel the Fates just has to start blaring as soon as Darth Maul appears. It should on the just field. be playing all the time, honestly. Or it's like an AoE thing where, like, if he runs past you, he's like, oh. 